This is InfoLive TV, headline news, January 1st, 2008. I'm Margot Dukkevich. A prisoner exchange deal for missing IDF soldier Gilad Shalit will be resolved over the next two weeks, according to a report in the Palestinian daily Al Ayam Monday. The report said in the first stage of the deal, Israel will release 350 prisoners, and after Shalit is released, a further 100. The Shin Bet estimates that 80 tons of explosives have been smuggled into Gaza since the Hamas takeover in the Strip last June, and that Hezbollah funnels $10 million a year to Palestinian terror groups. 13 Israelis were killed by Palestinians in 2007, the lowest number in years, according to a Shin Bet report published Monday night. With the publication of the Winograd Commission's report on the Second Lebanon War just days away, the Knesset's Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee has issued its own report. The IDF state's report had no operational strategy tackling a flare-up with Hezbollah. The lack of such strategy, along with the lack of readiness of manpower and arms, are a serious failure in the Northern Command, the report said. Celebrations marking Fatah's 43rd anniversary turned violent in the southern Gaza city of Khan Yunus after nightfall Monday. Medics said six Palestinians were killed and some 30 others wounded as rival factions exchanged fire following Hamas's ban of all Fatah gatherings in the Gaza Strip. According to reports since early Monday, Hamas arrested scores of Fatah supporters. Egypt's foreign minister warned Israel on Monday that Cairo would use its diplomatic influence against Israel if it continues to try and undermine Cairo's ties to Washington. Egyptian-Israeli ties have been particularly strained since Israel this month sent a videotape to Washington showing Egyptian security men helping Hamas terrorists to smuggle arms across the border to the Strip. That's all for InfoLive TV. Wishing you a good day from Jerusalem. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service. Regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel, but who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.